I get excited by these little things, by these little discoveries. Diseases of the brain are complicated. Genetics and the development in the human genetics field in the last 20 years have slowly enabled us to recognize that multiple synaptic proteins are dysfunctional in human brain disease. My interest in synaptic proteins started in my second year of bachelor studies in a biophysics course. It's very accurate. When you measure electrical activity, you measure very accurate signals. There's something very pretty about that type of data. So if you think about communication between two neurons, um, you can think about it as a communication between two people. It's dynamic, it will change um, throughout the years, throughout the minutes, throughout the time, and it is unique. In our lab, we are studying a protein. This protein is called ANG13. And we discovered a patient, the first patient that carries a gene variation in that protein and exhibits a very complex type of brain disorder. We identified so far 50 patients worldwide and one of the major projects of the lab is to understand the molecular mechanisms that are dysfunctional due to the gene variations that were found in the patients. Researching these type of diseases is the most important thing one can do. It's not about the number of patients. One patient deserves this type of, of attention. I think my team may appreciate the dedication to the topic. I think one, one thing that is very important for me in the group is that I trust my people very, very much. And I hope that my team appreciates that or that they see how much I trust them. It's important in science because you can't stand behind your student all the time to see what they're doing. And so we have a deal and our deal is if they fuck up, <laughs> if something happens that should not happen, they tell me we resolve the problem and we move on. That is the fastest way out of crisis and out of uh, experimental disaster. The brain is a complex organ. Every scientist can only look at a small process, at a small region. And I think the strength of New York Cure is that it incorporated scientists that study the brain in multiple levels, in many different levels, from the macro to the very molecular micro level. We are able to move across these, these levels of studies within the cluster and that helps us look at the picture as a whole.